Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading and you can hear from my voice that I'm still a little bit blocked up, still a little bit scratchy but much much better and for those of you who went to wear I have been off for a few days with flu, nothing too terrible, I'm much much better and while I was away various things happened, quite exciting things and uh, it's dog barking time as usual when I switch on the camera the dogs seem to know and stop barking but a few things happened the first of all for me personally we passed the 9,000 subscriber mark on this channel quite amazing I haven't quite got to my first year of being here on YouTube I'm very very grateful to all of you to the subscribers who have been with me from the start it's wonderful when I see your names in the comments still and to the new subscribers thank you for joining us here on Mad World Tarot and thank you also for your very kind comments when I posted that I was feeling ill and would be taking a break. I do appreciate it. And then of course much more importantly than my little news is the fact that Tom Bowers book has finally uh, been published and available for pre-order. I have pre-ordered my copy and then of course serialized in the Times over this um, past weekend. Some very interesting things have dropped, nothing scandalous uh, as far as you and I are concerned, things we know, but it's interesting to see it all blow by blow, there meticulously researched, laid out, and uh, what a picture it paints, what a picture it paints. The book of course is called Revenge, and in some ways revenge has been served. So I'm going to be doing a Celtic cross just to take the temperature. I'm sure we'll be reading on this book a lot in the coming days, weeks, even months. I'm using the Shadowland Tarot for this first reading to get me back in the groove and uh, just to take the temperature. It's the Shadowland Tarot. It's the quite vulgar little yellow um, cards, but they do read shadow energy pretty well. And I think we are dealing with shadow energy. We are dealing with people who are motivated by self-aggrandizement, revenge, the desire to destroy, to hurt, to damage, um, to take. Pretty clear from the book, there is there is no uh, no way of avoiding it. I don't even need to say that's my opinion and allegedly, because it's all there in black and white, literally, how uh, grasping, particularly Meghan Markle was, controlling, manipulative, egotistical, damaged and um, eager to damage when she didn't get her way. And she did not get her way. Royal family squashed some of her ambitions pretty quickly. And my goodness, did that cause a disaster for everybody. So Shadowland Tarot, Shadowland Tarot is hopping and, and bopping. It's, it's ready to speak. I'm doing a Celtic cross. I'm going to be looking at it from Meghan and Harry's point of view. Take the temperature in Montecito, see how they're feeling, what's going on, um, just generally right now the situation what they might be up to um, and uh, particularly for each of them what's the been the biggest blow um, in this book biggest shock biggest thing that didn't want to come out or can't believe has happened maybe nothing maybe indifferent to it i doubt it but let's have a look and see with the Shadowland Tarot and yeah, no surprises for, um, let's get all the rest of the cards out of the way. Interesting, you can see we've got the King of Pentacles under that, that's Harry in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse, why not take them both out? Um, universe seems to want us to see them, in fact it wants to see the whole lot of the, the bottom, but underlying energy of this reading is the Five of Cups. Oh, woe is me. Tears. We'll put the King of Pentacles in reverse away because there has been is um, not a pretty sight. We don't need to look at it. I'm still feeling a little bit um, um, frail, shall we say. Don't need to see ugly sights right now. That's ugly enough, the Five of Cups, really. It's the card of sorrow, great remorse and despair and crying over spilled milk and oh no, what has happened? This is all so terrible. Poor me. It really is a woe is me card. There it is, the Five of Cups. I'm sure that many tears have been shed in Montecito or even the rental in Bel Air that allegedly they have moved to. And we'll be looking at that, the list 
the list grows longer and longer and longer. So we were a bit in the doldrums before, but my goodness, the list has grown since I took a sick leave. Um, let's see the situation. The heart of the matter for the Harcourts is the Knight of Wands in reverse. Um, that is Prince Harry, Prince Harry energy. The Knight of Wands is that hot-headed, petulant prince. And when he's in reverse, he's very bad-tempered. He's very, um, uh, he, he doesn't think things through. He acts spontaneously, but he doesn't stick around to finish things that he starts. He starts fires all over the place and then disappears over the horizon on his horse, on his little polo pony um, that he's allegedly not treating very well. Let's not go there. Um, but uh, leaves other people to put the fires out or if they want the fires to stay going other people have to tend those fires he's he's uh, he just uh, is a, um, unreliable an untrustworthy character unreliable and he's also somebody who moves he disappears the knight of wands he packs his suitcase in a hump huff a fit of peak and uh, off he goes and that is what happened makes it makes it happened um, now, of course, stuck where he left or where he went to. Sorry, I'm a little bit garbled. Still not quite, not quite used to speaking so much. And uh, there he is, though. That's the Knight of Wands. And uh, very angry, very angry. You can tell that somebody is very upset and somebody is very angry. Prince Harry, I would say, um, if Meghan isn't the one throwing the crockery around, Prince Harry might be the one throwing the crockery around, getting on the phone to the lawyers right now. There's a lot of rage in that card. Um, let's not uh, forget that in the Knight of Wands in reverse and what is the challenge well it's the it's kind of a big version of that temperance card in reverse <laughs> the temperance card in reverse is the devil of course there it is an angel you would be hard pressed to recognize an angel in that depiction of the temperance card but in reverse the temperance card is of course the devil lies materialism um, toxic situations treating people badly bullying rage harassment anything else that you can to shake a stick at let's shake a stick at the disclaimer in the box below and remind you this is all my opinion this is a tarot reading for entertainment purposes and please do your own research and form your own conclusions but their challenge right now is to stay calm and not overreact going to be very difficult for both of them it's going to be difficult because there's a lot of tears a lot of upset a lot of can't believe this has happened so many people have betrayed us and the Knight of Wands in reverse is furious. He's on the phone to everybody. And um, the, the trick right now is to stay calm and carry, keep calm and carry on. Not their strong point. And of course, their challenge is, uh, as well as their own uh, need to um, keep calm, is um, the lies, the lies that have been told in the past and that are now being exposed. Nothing big, nothing earth shattering. If you've been following the story since Meghan announced that she was wild about Harry on the cover of that Vogue um, issue so many years ago, but uh, might be a bit shocking to other people who haven't followed so closely and people in quite important positions might be a bit horrified by what they read. So what is going on behind the scenes right now? Nine of Swords. Oh, 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 it's trouble and strife. It is uh, tossing and turning, worrying, anxiety, stress, biting, fingernails. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nasty card, the Nine of Swords. It's all your nightmares suddenly um, manifesting. Can't sleep, can't relax can't um can't turn the mind off because the mind is racing thinking what am i going to do what am i going to do how am i going to fix this and one of the fixes that needs to happen is hillary clinton needs to uh, come up with a letter that she allegedly wrote to Meghan markle as an 11 year old girl and we'll read on that too uh, in the coming days uh, but nine of swords worry 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 what are they focused on what are, are they trying to uh, manifest or do to <laughs> is a rather funny uh, card this two of pentacles uh, it does really show them in all their uh, their woundedness this two of pentacles those bandages falling off a sort of mummified figure that's tottering on that globe still trying to conquer the world but 
um, shredded, um, damaged goods now. Um, trying to juggle, trying to balance, trying to stay even. It's the Temperance card again. It's the it's the minor arcana version of the Temperance card, the Two of Pentacles. Stay calm, stay balanced, keep your equilibrium, keep going, focus, um, be measured in your response, be careful with where you spend your money and your effort and your time because you don't have that much. You only have two pentacles here that you can possibly spend so you can't give it all to sunshine sex you've got to keep some for a rainy day but you can see how bedraggled they are how down they are how damaged they are how damaged their brand is it you it's it's so clear from this card it really is this card this deck was literally shouting at me i haven't even looked at my cards for the past few days and as i walked past i kind of glanced into the room where they live on this box shouted at me said me 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 so how were they in the build-up uh, when the news broke oh so happy 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 they thought that they were okay they thought they got away scot-free with things they were very focused on all their new adventures and their goals and uh, making money and being happy and look at us and we're in the limelight and aren't we marvelous we've got the nelson mandela gig on monday that's tomorrow as i'm doing this reading i wonder if harry would dare to show his face in new york um, we're allegedly there also possibly moving we've done so many readings on that but it keeps popping up we'll do it again the sun they were so pleased with themselves triumphant smug and we know what happens to pride and a fall how are they going to be in the coming days what is going to be their response how they're going to react to this or what's going to be happening are we going to see lawyers letters are we going to hear about a lawsuit um, are they going to crawl away and hide what is going to be happening and then we get the fool, but the fool in reverse, the seeker, the zero card. Somebody's lost their head. The head has fallen right off in the fool card. Okay, the handbag, and a lot of people call has the handbag. I know that you all notice the red shoes in this card. This card comes up a lot when I use this deck. The giant red shoes. Um, Megan, her head's fallen off, but she's got handbags, handbags, her whatever's, his whatever's in her handbag and uh, about to step off a cliff when the card is in the upright and when the card is in the reverse fallen right off a cliff something rash they're going to do something reckless foolish stupid um almost deranged i get the idea from that card um and it's not going to go well because when the fool card is in reverse um the outcome is ridiculous dangerous and noticeable as being such it's not off on a brave new adventure it's we wish we could be off on a brave new adventure but we failed mis miserably to restart our lives rescue our brand um recover from this damage that is going on here so a big card it's major arcana and it's going to be tough we've got quite a few major arcana coming out in this reading so they've gone from happy and look at us to oh no and uh, perhaps we can do this wild and reckless thing and save the day. Mm. Uh, individually now, uh, how is it? What is the biggest blow? And Fluffy has come to join me and scratch at the furniture and um, tell me that she wants to eat. But she's quite capable of jumping up to her food herself. Um, although the human servant is required sometimes to pick it up you because Fluffy is quite quite fat i hope she didn't hear that um she's just one of those cats that naturally is she's got little short legs and she's very fluffy um anyway that's neither here nor there individually what's been the biggest blow biggest blow for harry in this book nine of cups nine of cups as his biggest blow um the Nine of Cups is your dreams and your wishes coming true. And it's always a bit much. It's, it's, it's a greedy card as well. It's, it's, it's a narcissist card. It's one of the narcissist cards. And it's one of the greedy cards. It's one of my least favorite cards in the deck. Even when it's upright like this and, you know, it's, it's yes, everything's going your way and you're going to get everything you want. It's shown them up as being greedy, grasping, um, self-infatuated 
and they all this talk about being humanitarians and going to save the world and change the world and modernize the royal family and blah 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 it's all blah 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 it's hot air this whale is blowing not hot air but it's blowing those cups those empty cups those empty promises out there and they're exposed they're exposed for being greedy for being narcissists for being gluttons for taking from every situation that they're involved in that awful story of setting up trying to set up a foundation so that they could siphon off and hide money and not be accountable and the royal family getting on top of it and setting up a charity instead and how mortified the sussexes were because they realized they couldn't hide their money there it is nine of cups he's exposed he's exposed for what he really is a, a drunk uh, not that that's come out in the book so far, but that's my personal opinion. And let's remind you that this is just all my opinion and a tarot reading, although he has admitted to having problems with alcohol, but more it is about being greedy, greedy and just grab, 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 take, take, take. Horrible card, horrible energy. So he is not happy that that has been exposed. Megan, it's not, uh, he's not unhappy about anything he's learned about her, just by the way. I allowed that as an option in my communications with Universe before I started this reading because I always have a think, I always write them down, the questions. I always allow Universe to have a little chat. We have a little meditation, a little tete-a-tete. -tete. And um, you know, it's, he's not upset about anything he's learned about Megzi. He, he knows who he married and what he married. He knows his own shadow. Hence the Shadowland Tarot. Her, how, how, what's been the biggest oh no moment for Megan? Lies. Ace of Swords in reverse. Lies. Lies, 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 lies. Uh, the sharp pointy nails, uh, female hand clutching that sword, all the things that she's claimed and that have been written about her and that she's written about herself. Vogue magazine, she got to edit. Um, Serena is my best body ever in the whole world. Um, I changed uh, an ad for dishwashing liquid and all of that. Her, her own um, version of herself has been undermined. Um, she's been exposed as a liar. The Ace of Swords is a truth-telling card when it's upright. It's clarity, clear thinking. So not only in when the card is in the reverse is this about lying, this is also about not being the sharpest um, tack in the stables. That's a completely wrong metaphor, but you know, uh, I'm uh, still recovering my mental faculties been a bit compromised the past few days um ace of swords in reverse fuzzy thinking fuzzy thinking and uh, so not the brightest not the smartest not whip smart not at all and uh, exposed exposed so the things that they most fancy about themselves have turned out to be false and I think this is very interesting and I think this is the big teachable moment in this um, reading and I really I do do these for entertainment um, I know lots of you um, alone um, struggling and not um, 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 uh, saying that about uh, all of you but I know that there is um, there is a a, a social a community purpose to this channel I'm very aware of it and um, and I do enjoy connecting with you here in the ether and uh, providing a little bit of entertainment to you if I can possibly but this is a teaching moment this is a lesson and uh, there is uh, hopefully always some kind of a lesson in my readings and lesson is that Harry Harry thought he was uh, so wonderful and everybody would fall for it and believe it and it's exposed that he is is just greedy and um, narcissistic and self-indulgent and Megan thought she's so smart and uh, she would be able to control narrative and be in charge of everything and it turns out she's actually a bit thick and not in control of things at all the royal family had her number from the beginning Vogue magazine had her number from the very beginning nobody fell for any of her lies and her games and her charades and her manipulations and they're all barking outside now so they obviously all agree hopes and fears in Montecito or Bel Air or New York or wherever they are under a bridge somewhere hopes and fears the hanged man they fear 
that this is going to tie them up. It's going to tie them up in knots for the foreseeable future. That it's going to stop them in their tracks. That they're going to dangle there um, helplessly because it's a card of losing power, the hanged man. Um, you are you, you you have your your privileges removed when you're hanging there and you're punished and you dangle there perilously and helplessly and you're vulnerable and you have to think about things and you have to think about things and think perhaps i had something to do with the fact that i am now dangling here helplessly and life passes you by and you can't engage and you can't do anything and you can't merch and you can't earn money and you can't give speeches at the united nations even though united nations is in recess at the moment they don't want this they don't want to be stopped they don't want to be vulnerable they don't want to be punished they don't want to be victims they don't want to look weak and they are going to but let's see outcome for them as a couple foreseeable future near future we've done um going to be doing something wild and reckless and rash uh, ultimately for them there's going to be fighting there is going to be possibly litigation with that card five of wands is a fighting card if it was five of swords i would be more inclined or the ace of swords i'd be more inclined to say litigation but there is going to be fighting and i did ask for them as a couple and i am in, inclined to read this card as they are going to be fighting they because the five of ones I always read as fighting within a little group, within family, uh, a couple falling out over something. It's usually quite trivial, but it's those irritations um, when you just can't anymore and you lose your rag with somebody because it's been building and building and building. It's that energy. So I don't think lawsuit. I'm going to do a separate reading on that, on the great list. Um, but to me, it just tells me, and Fluffy is determined to have some attention, so I'm going to wrap this up. Um, but it tells me that they're going to fall out over this. There's going to be a blame game. But it, you said, and you told me, and but I believed, and I trusted, and da-da-da-da-da. And all those people, your advisors, your PR team, your lawyers, your manager, your business manager, and all the rest of those people in California that you had lined up, that were told, you that you had the makings of a billion dollar brand like um, the Obamas uh, what happened there and they might be falling out with um, with uh, Sunshine Sachs they might be falling out with agents business people advisors lawyers this there's, there's fighting there's fighting and a lot of wasted energy that is going to go into this fighting and um, might consume quite a lot of their time their effort and uh, be mutually destructive and I couldn't wish it on a more deserving pair, quite honestly. So that is the very first reading that I have done on revenge being served. And uh, yeah, I think it's pretty, pretty, um, pretty much tells the tale. So thank you again for watching and I will see you on the next one.